with the presence of a very special person, Reverend Jesse Jackson, here tonight, I would like to announce the first of two awards being given tonight. I would like to call to the stage Right Honourable Keith Bass. Right Honourable Keith Baz had a vision about the Tamil liberation movement, almost pioneering it for the British Tamils. His inspirational speech at the inauguration ceremony at the House of Parliament only two days ago proved to me, someone from overseas, that Mr. Vass did understand the Tamil struggle for freedom, with peace and justice. Thank you. I would like to ask my Honourable Keith Vaz to share a few words with us. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Father Emmanuel, Reverend Jackson. Friends, I have not come prepared to say anything. And I feel rather humbled because nobody in their right mind would want to follow a speech given by the great Jesse Jackson. That is why I have always asked to introduce Jesse Jackson, <laughs> never to speak after him. So thank you very much. I just think it's wonderful that a global icon like Jesse Jackson, who is admired and respected throughout the world, should come and spend some time with us here this evening. He has had a day that I think Varindra Sharma, Andrew Pelling and I would never hope to have. He started in the morning unveiling a poster for the Operation Black Vote, ensuring that people vote here. He had an interview with David Frost. He went from there to Canary Wharf to talk to some very important members of the financial institutions about diversity. He went to the House of Commons for a seminar with David Lammy and Baroness Howells and Dawn Butler. He then went from there to a public meeting in North Kensington where there were 500 people with Karen Buck. He's come here. Tomorrow he goes to Manchester. And last night he was up till 1.30 on the Daily Politics program. This is not a man. This is a phenomenon. I wonder if the United States of America realize how lucky they are, and President Obama realizes how lucky he is to have Jesse Jackson on his side. Because there would not have been a Obama without a Jackson. And maybe it was a quiz. It was a quiz. Name a state in America the name of the president. You're in Washington. I think that's something that I just have very soon. I haven't seen this as a name of the people that I'd rather see from. Can I just see things? I'm not going to try it because that's something that I think that's a bit. To show you, I just think I'll And you can see some calls. The first was from the foreign country, which I'm not going to be on the bad models. The second is Canada. I'm not going to his number on my office. Yes, I need it. I'll give it to Senator Canada. What for? Also wishing to stay. And the next was from the Prime Minister's office, setting up a call for the Prime Minister to ring. This is what we have today a global icon, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, everyone. Upon a member of the Tamil community, the Queen honoured him for the service that he provided to the communities of Britain, not just the Tamil community, but members of all communities. 
Without this gentleman, I have been told that the 2008 Ponga Tunnel would not have been possible. His engagements with the council and his perseverance in making this part possible ensured that events as important as 2008 Ponga Tunnel took place. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call to the stage Member of the British Empire, Councillor Jürgen Jürgenathan. I would also like to ask Mr. Jürgen, Jürgen Arben to share a few words of wisdom with us. Hello, Wanakam. I don't know what I can say after global civil rights, amazing Reverend Jesse Jackson, and then of course our key class. You just heard what sort of fantastic, momentous, spontaneous speech they had given to us in the inauguration of the global talent. And I must say to you, it is an honor to stand right in front of you as a 63-year-old man to tell that we will never give up the fight for our Tamil. And when the Queen has honored me, that recognition is for the local government services and the community relations in North Surrey, we are very proud of. And all these achievements is all for all of you. We want the Tamils to unite together under the Global Tamil Forum now that it has come back to work hard. I know jolly well we can win. And my success is all yours. I know you were saying some fantastic speech, this young lady. We empower young people oh. and women as well. The bubbles. Women as well. And my family, obviously, they've been behind me. Thankful to them. I think that's my boss, I think my wife. And, you and then, of course, my daughter, Claire. And uh, my son, somewhere. Yeah. Ah, okay, he is Rohan. And more than that, and all my good friends, the British Tamil Forum, the chairman there, Mr. Naivet Kumar, and namely two more additional people from Global, the Global Tamil Forum is Surin and Sen. Thanks a lot. And all of you, thank you very much indeed. Paper of the and I'm very glad that the government is being paper of the media, and it is all yours, and we will be working there. I'm always available, and thank you, Reverend Jesse Jackson. I think it's important that we take this picture to have this kind of a commitment by members of parliament is a great statement for Camille, for Camille, the people of Camille. Uh, yes, no, that's an MP. He wants MPs, not councillors. <laughs> Humble people. Not councillors. <laughs> yeah, I think that must be just an omission. I want to We'd be all pleased to see you up there. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't press the play button. Ladies and gentlemen, on the stage, Mr. Jürgen Jürgen Arben, Mr. Jürgen Arben, Mr. Jürgen Arben, 